it comes to medical matters, one thing that's always going to grab the headlines are those three letters IVF. You see pictures of people smiling happily with their babies, and you hear stories of people who've spent thousands of pounds and it simply hasn't worked. Well, maybe help is at hand because a new, uh, what is called a natural and mild IVF clinic, is opening in Birmingham. And uh, Dr. Nita Gargant is with me now. Welcome to the program. Uh, natural and mild, does that suggest that? IVF otherwise is anything but either of those two things. Yes, I think you could say that because the opposite of natural and mild is conventional, we call it, the, you know, the standard IVF technique that is used. And um, natural and mild is essentially um, making IVF treatment as woman-friendly as possible to make it as safer as possible and as successful as possible with least amount of drugs and least amount of complications and side effects in order to achieve a healthy baby and to have a healthy mother so that she doesn't have to carry any health risks of um, IVF drugs. I said in the introduction there that you see so many headlines about how much people have spent and it doesn't always work. Is it as costly as, as I'm suggesting? Uh, no. I, In fact, uh, the bonus with natural and mild is it reduces the cost because the drugs alone can cost a lot of money in IVF and by reducing the amount of drugs and the type of drugs that we give, for example, in natural IVF, a pure natural IVF, we don't use any IVF drugs at all. So it automatically brings the cost down in mild IVF uh, as compared to conventional IVF, um, where low amount of hormones or drugs are used for a shorter period of time within a woman's own cycle. The whole concept is aiming at quality and not quantity and to make it safer. So the, the cost going down is actually an added bonus because of reduced amount of dr uh, drugs and reduced amount of monitoring required. Um, the cost does go down. But you know, when you talk about IVF, we have to look at it in a very rounded way. What is important for a woman or a couple who are having fertility treatment is to make sure that we do not do any harm to their health, particularly women who has to undergo this treatment, that we don't cause any harm and we make it as safer as possible um, because the invasive methods and the invasive drugs can not only have harm on her health but can also have harm on her child if high amounts are used. So the cost is both direct and indirect. If we reduce hospital admissions for women with um, with the complications such as ovarian hyperstimulation or overstimulation, that in itself is a reduction. So overall, for the couple, for the woman, the cost is also reduced while we make it safer and more successful. Because I've often thought that when people know that they can have yeah. IVF treatment, that they have automatically got hope. And that isn't necessarily the case, is it? No, it isn't. Uh, it isn't necessarily the case because, um, you know, uh, older women have reduced success rate. And in one of the things that we are trying to do with the natural or modified natural cycle IV is to give them an opportunity with their own eggs. And um, there are situations where couples and women have to leave the clinic without a child. And they have to come to terms with it and look at alternative routes of parenthood. So yes, of course, it's not always going to be successful. Um, and that's something very important. As, as a fertility doctor, I feel that we have as much responsibility to help them have a child. We have an mm -hmm. equally important responsibility to help them achieve closure. So what we are doing at Create Fertility in Birmingham is to introduce natural and mild mm -hmm. IVF to the, uh, to the population in Midlands in mm -hmm. order to increase accessibility, make it safer for them and make it women friendly so that we can offer them that successful option they need to know as the first choice. Because I presume sometimes you do have to say to people, look, it isn't working, it yes. isn't going to work. Yes. That must be difficult. Yes, it is. It is difficult, but it's, it's, it's absolutely a duty and obligation we have mm -hmm. in order to help women and couples to come to terms with it. It is very important as clinicians, us, using counsellors, um, to help them achieve that mm -hmm. closure and help them to move on and, and be successful in whatever um, you know, they would like to achieve. Yeah. But yes, you're absolutely right, and it's an absolute obligation for us to do that.
I, I'm fascinated by the phrase used in the, the handout about you coming in to see me today, which says you provide a comprehensive fertility MOT. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a great phrase, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it is a great phrase, and, and I'll tell you why that phrase is popular, because most British people understand that phrase, an MOT, a fertility mm. MOT, we are very proud of. We pioneered our fertility MOT using advanced ultrasound scan in one hour to give them comprehensive fertility diagnosis and information mm. so that we empower them with that information and also advise to see how we mm. can help them with, them with natural conception. So they know they go in, they have a test, it tells them where they are and how they can use that information or there are problems and how can we help them to address them you know, cost effectively and successfully. So MOT, fertility MOT is something we are quite proud of because yes. we, I believe information is useful. Mm. You know, knowledge is power. Mm. They can use that information and plan ahead. You're the medical director. Um, do you get some ladies now who come into you and say, well, you know, I'm, I'm 50 whatever and I'd still like a baby. I mean, what's your immediate reaction to them? Well, look, you, you, you said 50, whatever. Yeah. So you're looking at women over 50. Yeah. Uh, women over 50, generally, I mean, generally, we, you know, these women should be given advice that, first of all, look, mm. it's, you, you're going to be in the menopausal age, uh, mm. so having a baby with your own eggs is um, almost impossible. Um, so it's the donor egg. But look, when we, when we give advice to women over 50, it's extremely important we balance the risks, risks of pregnancy, risks to children, including psychosocial influence that it can have on children with older mothers. So I think that is an important message we have to see if we can help them achieve closure at that time. So clearly, um, every, every woman, every couple have to be given advice on an individual basis, and the advice is tailored. And for older women, you know, we see media, in the media about celebrities having babies late in life. Mm -hmm. They generally tend to be with the donor eggs. But mm -hmm. what we are trying to do with natural and modified natural is at least give them a chance with their own eggs where it is medically appropriate because high amount of drugs mm -hmm. don't work most of the time when your egg mm -hmm. reserve is low or when you're older. But at least to help them is something that we can offer and we can offer in a way that is less invasive, it is safer, it is less expensive. So it's a win-win situation. 